Hey guys, it's Jeff and iOS 11 is set to be released this week. So here are the five things I do when setting up your phone with iOS 11. First thing is first, you might wanna set up Apple's do not disturb while driving feature. This feature is great when driving as it blocks out notifications unless they are urgent and ensures that your attention is on the road and not on your phone. So to set this up, head over to the settings app and scroll down to the do not disturb menu option. In this menu, you'll see that towards the bottom, there is a do not disturb while driving option. Go ahead and enter into that page and you will see three methods of activation for this feature. The automatic option is basically the phone detecting movement and it will automatically turn this feature on when going over a certain speed limit. There is the when connected to car Bluetooth, which is kind of self-explanatory. And then there's the manual option, which of course will require you to manually turn on this feature. You can do so via the control center by clicking the car icon. Speaking of the control center, look at this thing. A brand new design and a ton of new settings to place into your control center. If you want to customize this menu, you can do just that. Go back into the settings app and down to the control center menu option. Tap on customize controls and here are all of the options that you can choose from to place into your control center. You can add, subtract, and even move around options, so definitely take some time to get everything organized just the way you like. Next up, this change is for all of you who like to take a lot of photos and videos. Photos and videos take up a lot of storage space, but in iOS 11, Apple has given us the option to use a different file format for both videos and photos, which is smaller in size, but maintains the same quality. To make that change, head back into the settings app and scroll all the way down to the camera menu. There you will see an option called formats. Go into that menu and you'll have two options. The most compatible will keep the older file format, which takes up a lot more space, but the high efficiency option will ensure a lower storage usage for all photos and videos. One option that I really need to change is my wallpaper iOS 11 comes with a ton of new wallpapers, so why not try one of them out? Head over to the settings app and go into the wallpaper menu. Once you get to the stills, you'll see that you have a ton of options so you can pick and choose what you like. I personally am going to choose this cool retro theme and try it out for the next couple of days. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you are trying and which one you like best. Now, there's a really important setting that you might notice is missing from the display and brightness menu. If you haven't noticed it already, the automatic brightness setting is gone. Well, Apple relocated it, which is kind of a pain, but to go ahead and change that, you need to back out of this menu and go into the general settings. Head down to the accessibility tab and then tap on display accommodations. There you will see the option to have auto brightness on or off. I personally like to have it on, but it's up to you as far as what you want to do. So guys, those were the first things I did when setting up iOS 11. If you guys are enjoying the new OS so far, let me know how you like it in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to throw us a like, share with your friends who might be interested, and subscribe for some more upcoming content. As always, I thank you all for watching, stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one.